So yeah, hello, hello. So good afternoon, everyone. So we'll start with uh, the determination of the surface energy from our contact angles of our of our where's my chat of our uh, test liquids. So to get the surface energy of a uh, surface of a solid surface, we usually use. Uh, the contact angles of two different liquids on that surface, as you will see in your experiment number three. I think experiment three. It's a surface energy measurement. So for that one, ang ginagawa natin is we drop two liquids onto that surface. So usually magkaiba yung polarity nila. So, we have water and CH2I2 for this example. So, water is a polar liquid. While yung CH2I2 natin, this is usually a non-polar liquid. So, whenever we do our contact angle measure or surface energy determination using contact angle, yung cell drop method natin, we drop. So, we drop small amounts of liquid. So, usually at around five microliters of liquid onto our surface and makita natin it would form a droplet onto our surface like so then then we will measure yung contact angle nitong liquid na to with respect to the surface so we do that using software so ang idea doon is we get the tangent to the contact of our droplet and our surface. So maraming techniques na ginagamit dyan. Pwede yung circular method, mag-draw kang circle, tas you measure the inscribed arc and so on. But the basic idea is you get the tangent to this one and the tangent to this contact angle like this one. Then you measure this contact angle na ito. Ito yung magiging contact angle nung liquid mo with the surface. So let's assume that this one for H2O, yung contact angle natin is 45 degrees. Meanwhile, for CH2I2, your contact angle is around 60 degrees. Para madali lang yung ating values. So once we have the two contact angles for our liquids, we can actually now get for our surface energy of our solid. We can get the surface energy of our solid by using the owens went travel kielble equation or ORK, OWRK equation, this one. So the OWRK equation relates the uh, contact angle of our liquid to the solid surface with yung surface energy ng liquid, yung dispersive and polar components ng liquid natin, and yung dispersive and polar components ng surface natin. So the dispersive and polar components of your liquid or your solid surface energy, this just tells you the characteristic of the parang surface. So pag mas mataas yung polar component natin, uh, what this implies is that mas marami ka parang polar groups onto the surface. Pag mas maraming dispersive group, uh, usually more of van der Waals interactions yung nasa surface natin. Non-polar yung interactions mo at the surface. So for the OWRK method, we have two test liquids with known dispersive and polar components. So this is gamma LD and this is gamma LP. If you add the dispersive and polar components, you get the total, the total surface energy. So this is just gamma L. So similar the relation for your solid, you have gamma S is equal to gamma SD plus gamma SE. From our equation, ang makita natin is, uh, ito kaya natin may measure sa experiment. Ito given sa atin from your tabulated tables. Ang wala sa atin is ito, gamma SD and gamma SP. Ito yung nahanap natin. Nakita natin dalawa yung unknowns natin. Kaya usually ginagamit natin test liquids are dalawa. Though 
sometimes we also use three test liquids just for the redundancy para mas accurate results natin. But two test liquids should suffice. So how do we apply this equation now to our results? So basically, ang magnyari sa atin is magkakaroon tayo ng system of two equations since we have two unknowns here. So from this one, 45 degrees and 60 degrees, we can actually set up the uh, equations na kailangan natin. So first, for our water, may kodi ka. For water, for H2O, na droplet, ang mangyari is we have gamma L, but gamma L is equal to sa so water, 72.1. 72.1 times 1 plus cosine, yung contact angle natin here, which is 45 degrees, over 2 is equal to gamma LD Gamma SD. So, gamma LD is equal to sa so water. Dispersive components, 19.9. 19.9 times yung gamma SD. Hindi natin alam to. Raised to 1 half plus polar component ng water, 52.2. Polar component ng solid, Gamma SP, di natin alam. One half. So that is for water. Then we need another expression for CH2I2 or diiodomethane. We have here diiodomethane. 50.8, 0, 50.8, totally 50.8. 50.8 dispersive, wala siyang polar component. So we have for. CH2I2, we get 50.8 times 1 plus yung contact angle natin. So, dito 60 degrees siya. Plus cosine, 60 degrees over 2 is equal to dispersive component niya, 50.8. 50.8. Times gamma SD, then you parin natin alam, one half plus zero gamma SP is to one. So since zero to mawalato, zero. And from the data for CH2I2 here, since conveniently naging zero, to kaya usually CH2I2 rin ginagamit natin liquid. From here, we can solve for ito. So we can solve for gamma SD from this equation. We will get gamma SD is equal to 50.8 times 1 plus cosine 60 degrees over 2 squared all over 50.8. So, in-isolate ko lang to Yung gamma SD natin. I just isolated this one. <laughs> then, solving for this one, evaluating, you will get 28.575. So, now once we have this now, we can use that one to solve for to solve for yung nawawala pa isang component, gamma SP. So we can put this back into the other equation. We're just solving the system of equations at this point. And if you do that, so lalagay natin siya dun, we'll get 72.1 times 1 plus cosine 45 so ito siya, over 2 times Ah, sorry. Is equal to 19.9 times 28.575 raised to one half plus 
52.2 times yung nawawala, gamma SP, raised to 1. So dito, isa na lang unknown natin, gamma SP. Solving for that one, we will get gamma SP is equal to 27.22. So this would be the polar component, polar component of the solid surface energy. Meanwhile, itong nandito sa taas, this one is your dispersive component. Then to get the total surface energy, gamma S is equal to gamma SP plus gamma SD. So be equal to 27.22 plus 28.575 and we will get well, 50, uh, 53 So that is how you get the surface energy of a solid given your contact angles are if you have already found contact angles for two different test liquids.